Greetings, this is another reader. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this type of video for quite a long time. As I have said in my previous videos, I am a Spotify premium user. I have multiple playlists and multiple albums downloaded. I had this idea probably since December. I wanted to go through my Spotify playlists probably since December. I have waited for so long to do so. Like I said, I have multiple playlists. And today I'm going to go through a playlist entitled Mashup of Random Good Songs. It is what it says, it is a mashup of random good songs. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first song on my mashup of random good songs playlist is Cadence of Her Last Breath by Nightwish. I have always defended their second singer, and it's Olson. I think she was great. Sure, she wasn't Taria, but she still did a decent job on Dark Passion Play and especially on the Imaginarium album. In this song, Cadence of Her Last Breath, I like uh, the intro, it's very powerful. Sure, to be honest, this is not the best song to represent Annette's vocals, but if you want to hear uh, more of her and appreciate her singing, check out the entire Imaginarium album, because she does an epic job on that album. Imaginarium has beaten out once as my favorite Nightwish album. The next song on my playlist is Emerald Sword by Rhapsody. I remember that I visited my childhood friend's house and there they had a guest. They had an iPod shuffle, just like mine, except that it was blue. I took it, gave a few songs a listen, and that's where I heard Emerald Sword. At first I thought I would eventually delete Emerald Sword, because I, sk I have skipped it for quite a long time, and it it's still there. I still like Emerald Sword. Also, this song contains the line and justice for all. Every time I hear about Metallica's and justice for all album, the only album by Metallica from the 80s that I haven't listened to, by the way, I remember Emerald Sword. Okay, next song over here is Scourge of Iron by Cannibal Corpse. Scourge of Iron has a great uh, guitar intro and this is why I gave the song a listen. Next song is High Hopes by Nightwish. I remember there was a time back in 2013 when there was a one Georgian channel that constantly had this concert and of an era and uh, that's how I came to know this song. I also love the original by Pink Floyd, by the way. My very first impression of this song, I remember, I was only getting into Nightwish back then. I didn't know much about the band, but I knew that they had a singer named Taria. And then when she left the stage and there was Marco Hietala left to sing, and I was like, why is this guy singing? Give me Taria back. Oh, the next song is Shout by Tears for Fears. Last autumn I decided to go through Tears for Fears because I wanted to discover new music. I discovered this album named The Songs from the Big Chair. And there are only two songs that I remembered best. Shout and Everybody Wants to Rule the World. By the way, Shout, the song Shout, was a soundtrack to Netflix Dark. I don't pay much attention to the songs in TV shows, but when I rewatched the first few episodes recently, I heard a shout and I cheered. Okay, next song is Can I Play With Madness by Iron Maiden. So I remember back in 2018 I watched the video clip to that song, great song by the way, and there was this boring teacher in the video clip. I was like, oh yeah, some random dude playing the boring teacher. And then I watched Monty Python, particularly Life of Brian, and then I realized that the boring teacher from Iron Maiden's Can I Play With Madness uh, video is Brian from Life of Brian. <laughs> oh, it was a great comedy. I watched it a few times back in 2019. And the video clip is great, and the song is great. 
So the next song is uh, also from uh, the Seventh Sun of the Seventh Sun album by Remaiden. It's called The Clairvoyant. I don't have much to say about this song. Moving on. Oh, this next uh, song is actually from Iron Maiden's uh, Brave New World album. It's called The Wicker Man. It's simply an amazing song with very powerful riffs and uh, some interesting vocal lines. One thing I know about The Wicker Man is that the song is based on a film it's based on some old 70s film and I also know that there is a remake starring Nicolas Cage haven't seen either of the films I don't know what are they about maybe I should give them a watch oh by the way my phone case has this slice of pizza and the Hogwarts Quest stickers okay next uh, song is Over the Hills and Far Away by Gary Moore as much as I like the song, it's a very good song, it's solid, it, I still prefer the Nightwish cover. Nightwish did a decent job covering this Gary Moore song. I don't know his other songs, I only know Over the Hills and Far Away. Oh, the next song is a signature Dio song, Rainbow in the Dark. I encountered this song many times when I played song pop. For those who don't know, it's a Facebook game, well, it's a separate app on the phone, where you guess the songs. This is one of those apps I downloaded when I first got this phone, and that game is absolutely amazing. I still play it. I still love to guess songs. This is how I discovered some bands and some songs I love to this day. But I still want Song Pop to add more artists. They don't have enough artist playlists. I remember the video clip uh, where Dio, he sits on the roof and he sings this song. Okay, next song here is Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears of Fears. I remember that I encountered this song many times when I was walking around and going to the gym and outside and I wiped to that song. It has a very nice rhythm, nicer vocals and and a nice melody. Oh, the next one is Dawn of Victory by Rhapsody. This is one of Rhapsody's most famous songs. I haven't dived deeper into Rhapsody. I still can't tell a difference between Rhapsody and Rhapsody of Fire. I know there are differences, legal differences, but I have no idea. Sorry, Rhapsody fans. But Dawn of Victory is an amazing song. So the next song on my playlist is World War Now by Creator. I like Creator's uh, AZ stuff, but I like their recent stuff even more. This song, World War Now, is a pretty solid song. Oh, the next song is Sacred Worlds by Blind Guardian. Fun fact about this song, there is a version of this song written for this game called Sacred to Fallen Angel. I watched uh, some gameplay of that game, particularly the quest that involves playing Guardian. You have to find the instruments for them. And then when you find the instruments, there's this computer counterparts playing Sacred Worlds in front of an audience of magical creatures. Just watch that video clip for yourself. Just type Sacred World by Blank Guardian and check out the clip. The next song over here is Hex and Hammer by Burning Witches. Last year I discovered this band called Burning Witches. I caught a Burning Witches live chat once, before I got into them, and I remember that they mentioned that Judas Priest inspired them. Sure, there are some Judas Priest vibes in their music. But one thing I, I like about Burning Witches is that the lead singer, both the previous vocalist and the second, current vocalist, they pull off awesome metal screams. If you haven't heard Burning Witches, I recommend checking that out. For the screams at least. Okay, so the next song is uh, Carolus Vex, English version by Sabaton. I've heard both the English and Swedish versions of this song and I can say that I like uh, 
uh, the English version more. The next song is uh, Skulls and Shadows by Blind Guardian. Okay, I do have something to say about this song. It sounds a lot like a Blackmore's Night song with all the folk elements. And, uh, but with different vocals. I do feel a lot of Blackmore's Night uh, vibes here. Okay, so next song is Never the Heroes by Judas Priest. I remember that I tried listening to their Firepower album back in 2019. This was the song that stuck with me most of all. I put it on my iPod shuffle and it's still there to this day. It's a very good song, has some very classy riffs and, the, and, and great vocals. Okay, next song is How Dare You by GT. Uh, how to say it? What, what this song is? Well, it involves a certain speech by a certain person from Sweden. Many people saw it. And then some guy turned her speech into death metal. I'm not going to say more, just check that out. But one thing I can definitely say that the death metal version of her speech sounds more pleasant than her actual speech. So dear readers, I'm currently editing the video and it turned out to be much longer than I expected. So I'm going to cut it into several parts. But I will talk only about the first 19 songs and I will talk about the rest in the next uh, part. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to check my link tree.